From parades to drag shows, there's a lot of pride in Montana. Here's MTN's Diane Parker with a behind-the-scenes look at drag in the Treasure State. Drag in Montana is often misunderstood, that according to many in the LGBT community. They say it's a very important part of Pride Month, though, and it's not stopping our state's top drag queens from spreading a message of joy and resilience. Who was the first trans black woman to be elected to public office? From queer trivia night at Sacred Grounds Coffee Shop in Billings. Drag culture is so deeply, like, rooted in black queer history. So I'm just really happy to be here, and I hope we have a good time. Two historical callbacks, citing the 1969 Stonewall Inn start of the Pride Movement. Pride started out as a riot. Pride started out as police raids in clubs that were wrongful. Many drag performers in Montana are unofficially tasked with being the holders of queer history. It's a mix of a celebration of us just being happy to be here. It can be very solemn because we know why we're here too. Through the art of drag, Onyx Echo is delivering messages all across Montana. Montana is a very big state, very small group of performers. Her medium, makeup, and costume meticulously applied. It's theater, it's performance, it's acting, it's an aspect of modeling, it's fashion. But all of that, Onyx says, is decades behind the rest of the nation. Doing drag in Montana is very similar to like doing drag in like the 90s or like the 2000s. It's still very controversial and still pretty underground. The show's not as frequent, and stepping outside the performance venue can still be dangerous. If we go, like, out after, um, especially in Bozeman, sometimes in Helena, you'll get the, um, the slurs. People will act like they're about to jump you. For this drag queen, remembering the history she holds, paired with pop star moments, keeps her moving forward. The people that I run with are really good people that just want to perform, maybe make some money and then go home. To me, I'm just being like Britney Spears for four minutes and then and then I'm done. But those minutes matter to anyone hoping for a future free to express themselves. In Billings, Diane Parker, MTN News.